Uh, this is a question on TikTok and the decision to uh, ask employees who have the app installed on their work phones to, to remove it. Um, we heard a little bit from Commissioner Breton earlier today. I'm wondering if you can add to um, an explanation for why uh, that decision was made, um, if it was because of cybersecurity and, uh, and data concerns. Um, and also, if you could just clarify who exactly made the decision. Is it, is it the corporate management for the commission? Um, and lastly, sorry to add to this, but um, I think the commission has an account on TikTok. I don't think I've seen a lot of content on that. Wondering if there's any implication for um, the way the commission communicates using TikTok uh, with the public. Thanks. I'm not aware not that aware. we have a TikTok account, but we will uh, we will check. I don't think we do. Uh, we don't, says Sonia. Voilà. Uh, and therefore, that uh, question is a moot one. But for the others, I give the floor to Sonia. Many thanks. Uh, indeed, uh, the Commission's Corporate Management Board decided to suspend the use uh, of the TikTok mobile application on its uh, corporate devices and also personal devices enrolled in the Commission mobile device system. The measure is in line with uh, our strict internal cybersecurity policies for use of mobile devices for work-related communications. It complements the long-standing Commission advice to staff to apply best practices when using social media platforms and keep high level of cyber awareness in their daily work. So the reasons why this has been, uh, the decision has been taken is to protect the Commission cyber, uh, to increase the Commission cyber security. Also, the measure aims to protect the Commission against cyber security threats and actions which may be exploited for cyber attacks against the corporate environment of uh, the Commission. Also, as I mentioned just, and the Commissioner has said, that this decision was uh, carefully analyzed also, uh, considered and taken by the Commission's uh, Corporate Management Board. And Eric replied to your last question, if the Commission has a TikTok account. Yeah, thanks. Kim, follow up. And all you can say about whether there was anything specific that triggered the decision now. Was there information that was received from allies, um, a, a new analysis that was done, anything in particular that, that resulted in this happening now? No, Kim, we don't comment on, um, on internal uh, cybersecurity issues. This is clearly based on the, on the Commission's um, assessment of the situation, and we will not go into further details on that. Yeah. Julian Bloomberg, um, two questions on this. Um, you guys say this is a suspension, in which case, what is needed from TikTok in order to lift the suspension as some kind of cybersecurity um, confirmations? Um, I also was curious if you were in talks with other EU institutions about implementing similar suspensions. Thanks. So, yeah. What I can tell on this uh, point is that uh, this is a temporary measure, or this is a measure under constant review and possible reassessments. But, you know, we're not going to say here what is necessary or not in order for the suspension to be lifted. Again, we are constantly monitoring situations when it comes to our IT applications one way or another, and therefore take measures uh, based on the latest information or assessment that we, can, that w that we have made. Other questions on this? Wait. Oh, sorry, you have a follow-up again? Oh, yeah. Sorry. We will inform the other institutions of, uh, of our decision, of course. We, do you want to? Bonjour. Um. Hello. Can you tell us if other similar social networking apps and so on are banned, suspended, withdrawn or whatever from corporate mobiles or private mobiles? Has this happened, has this happened before or is, it, or is this the first time? And it, it, it's true that the cause remains an open question, but really, why now? Have you had some information to suggest that it's become particularly problematic now, more so than in the past? Nice try, Alan, but we won't be commenting any further on what's led to this decision being taken today. As we've said, we are constantly analysing the cybersecurity of the Commission's digital applications and installations and taking decisions. And we don't 
give we don't make public why these decisions have been taken for obvious reasons. I will give the floor to Sonia for your first question. Yes, the Commission regularly issues recommendations on the use of different applications by staff. So, for example, video conferencing applications like Skype for Business and WebEx. Skype for Business and WebEx are approved of by the Commission, by the Commission's Corporate Management Board. But, but I think we have to clarify things here, because we're looking here at an app. But what we have to look at are the Commission's IT tools, the, the, the IT tools which are used by the Commission, some of which are on the mobile digital devices which we use, but they might also be on computers and so on and so on. There are applications which have been analysed and which have been approved of by the Commission for its use. You know one of them very well. It's Interaxio. We, we use it every day. Um, we've used WebEx, but we don't use Zoom. It doesn't use that Zoom is banned, but it means that it's not a, an application which has got the go-ahead from the Commission for it to be used by its services. There are other applications and other IT tools on which recommendations have been issued. You might remember, for example, that we suggested to staff that they use Signal rather than WhatsApp. And here, and I think it's the first time that this has been done, we're talking about a specific decision leading to the removal of an application, in this case TikTok, from commission devices and asking staff who use their private devices in the professional sphere to delete it from their phones. A follow-up. Uh, uh, what about applications like Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and so on? Are they authorised or not? And secondly, is the Commission equipped or does the Commission authorise the private or professional use of Huawei devices? Exhaustive. Well, I can't give you an exhaustive list of all of the uh, IT tools which are authorised by the Commission. If you're really interested, I'm sure we could send it to you. We don't have it with us here. I don't have any information at all on a decision of that nature regarding the brands which are authorised for the private devices used by staff. I don't think there has been any decision on that. What happens is that when a tool, a private uh, mobile phone, for example, is used in a work context, so you've installed our application on it to get commission email, for example, then you have to sign a declaration, which, as part of, which means that you're part of this program, corporate programme. And as of that moment, you have to respect the Commission's instructions for the use of it, and I think that makes perfect sense. Yes, please. Ronnie, Matthew Newman from MLEX. Um, just to ask about the enforcement of this, how does that work, actually? Does, uh, I, mean, I, I suppose there's a list of uh, corporate phones, a list of phones that you have. Um, is that everyone just kind of called into the IT office and and said, you know, please delete it, or do they just delete it on their own and, and they, the Commission trusts that they do it? Uh, is there any kind of verification that they've deleted it? Um, what if they reinstall it? Um, it's, it's just, as, as Eric just said, it's just one app. So um, pretty easy to install and reinstall. Thanks. 
On corporate devices, I don't know. Uh, do you have the information, Sonia? It's uh, normally, well, this is something that is a security, internal security decision, so we are not communicating on the implementation and enforcement, how we are doing, because this touches upon the, let's say, security of our internal systems. So we are not uh, able to provide any detail on this aspect. Let, let, me, let me say one thing, though. I mean, it's clear that corporate devices like, uh, like this one uh, obviously uh, are, uh, are very well monitored by the Commission services. We are regularly asked to make updates. If you don't do the updates in time, then your phone uh, stops working, at least certain apps start working, simply because the security protocols are no longer up to date, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when it comes to a person who would have a private device, then clearly it is that person's responsibility to uh, comply with uh, the security instructions given by, uh, by the Commission it engages that person's responsibility. They have signed the declaration when they signed up uh, to the Commission uh, Corporate uh, Device Management uh, Program. Any other questions? Good Lord, what a level of interest. Um, now, obviously, I understand you're not going to justify every single individual decision, but generally speaking, what are the criteria that come into play? Is it just security? Or are there other criteria, like price, etc.? Prix. Price? Well, we're talking here about a security decision. Security. We're talking about two different things. When you talk about price, well, the Commission, when it uses IT tools, corporate IT tools, well, that's obviously part of public procurement, and you've got the applicable procedures. Now, here we're not talking about that. We're talking about a decision that is linked into cybersecurity issues, as Sonia said. So we're really in that category rather than in a commercial category. David. Yeah. Um, so if I, if I understand this correctly, this is an internal internal decision or internal procedure concerning just uh, commission employees. But I was wondering, are there any implications for us normal citizens or for journalists? I mean, are you saying that it's okay to use TikTok, it's safe, or you're just not saying anything at all about it? We're not saying anything at all about it. This is a specific commission, um, commission decision. Um, for the rest, it's for the member states. Um, to, uh, to uh, issue any advice or recommendations or any other type of decisions uh, that, they might, uh, that they might see fit. No, this is strictly commission, commission internal. Joe. Thank you. Um, I've learned, I've not got TikTok or ever used it, um, but I've learned today reading about it, something called a TikTok hole, is there any concern or is there any reasoning behind the ban that might be about raising productivity inside the Commission and stopping Commission officials losing hours of their workday by simply watching videos of dogs prancing around or, or whatever else you find on TikTok? <laughs> Thank you. Joe, I liked a very informative question that you, that you asked. I think I've already replied to it previously by saying that it was strictly related to cyber security. Uh, but I appreciate your concern about commission productivity and public services in general. I, was, I would say that in view of the time that uh, we all spend on social media, including yourselves, by the way, because I'm an avid follower of all your extremely informative tweets, um, I'm, I'm sure that it's a question we know, all need to ask ourselves regularly, how best to use these, uh, these social media tools. Right, I think that shows that the debate is now becoming slightly a fringe debate, uh, but I still have lots of questions in the, in the chat. Uh, Christian. Oui, just a detail, je voulais savoir. Yes, just a detail. When does this recommendation come into force? I read that it was the 15th of March. So you're asking commission staff to disinstall it by the 15th of March, are you? And the next question, what will happen if they don't do it? If a commission official has TikTok on their private device, but they use that for commission email, for example, and they don't delete it, will there be any penalties? What's going to happen? 
Thank you, uh, Christian. Yes, just to specify, we're talking about tick-tock, not tick-tack here. I'm sorry for being humorous. Secondly, you're quite right. The decision applies as of the 15th of March. Commission staff have until that date to uh, uninstall the application from their telephones. I don't have any particular information about what will happen if that's not done. But we might well imagine that this might lead to uh, questions about whether that digital device could uh, continue to participate in the uh, corporate programme, for example. I don't know. I can't give you specifics. Um, I was just uh, wondering, um, TikTok has already responded and said the decision was misguided and based on fundamental misconceptions. I was wondering how you have engaged with TikTok in the making of this decision and if you have contacted them um, regarding the decision and your comment more generally about their, their response. We're not going to comment on, um, on this. Uh, again, it's an internal um, commission assessment related to its uh, internal cybersecurity. Finbar. Thank you, Eric. Um, I just, sorry if I missed this earlier, but is this the only application that has ever been banned um, from commission devices? Um, I was going to ask specifically whether there's been anything about WeChat, which is um, obviously an, another very popular Chinese app that um, there are many uh, security concerns about as well. Has, has that ever been considered uh, being banned by the Commission? Thank you. Thank you. I, we already answered that question. As far as I know, it is the first um, decision related to, uh, to an app, um, and uh, we have not mentioned WeChat in any, in any context. Where you are? Hi. Yeah, I just want to know how much of uh, this uh, decision is under U.S. Uh, pressure or influence. So we all know that it's public that uh, when EU made a decision regarding Huawei 5G, and it's under a lot of uh, U.S. pressure. Mike Pence, uh, Mike Pompeo. You know, everyone coming to came to Europe two years ago, and uh, actually the U.K. independent. Uh, uh, assessment shows there was a, there was really no uh, security threat uh, compared with to similar uh, company from uh, you know Europe or South Korea or others. So how much is actually a coordination or pressure from the U.S.? Yeah, none is the answer, and I hope I see that on your Twitter account uh, after the midday, since you asked a question uh, related to. to uh, to a similar issue recently and, uh, and commented on that on your Twitter account. So let's hope that you will post this answer as well. Any other question for us on this issue today? No? Um, so let us move on. Oh, sorry. Excuse-moi, je t'avais pas vu. Emmanuel. Sorry, I hadn't seen you. Yes, just a quick question. Can you tell me how many attempted cyber attacks take place against the Commission each year, each day more like. I don't have the figures here. And the uh, specialised spokesperson on that isn't here. We can have a look. But the Commission, like many, many public institutions, I believe, is the uh, subject of uh, attack, attacks, uh, attack, uh, of, of attempted attacks on a regular and repeated basis. And that's why we take very seriously all issues linked to the security of our IT systems, including mobile de devices, which we make use of during our, the course of our work. Right. I don't see any other questions on this particular subject. Thank you very much. So let's move on to other subjects. David.